Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back. So today we are doing a get ready with me video. I just felt like getting, you know, putting my face together, feeling more like myself with my makeup on, and talking about stuff. I feel like there's just been a lot in my life that I just kind of just want to chat with you guys, vent about, let's be real, let's just hang out. And uh, yeah, all that good jazz. So first things first, I'm going to prime my face, put my hair back, and we're going to get started. Okay, so today I'm not going to do anything fancy, I'm just going to do like a simple everyday face and I'm also going to use the like brush technique you know I did a video a little while back of like makeup techniques I never use and I must say it's kind of convenient not wetting a sponge so I'm going to do it again today you know just do a foundation brush for everything see if that works for us better because uh I love the sponge I feel like it's the best way to blend things out but I don't feel like wetting a sponge today <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do because it really wasn't that bad last time I thought it was gonna be streaky and it really wasn't and this is the new bare look tint from YSL it's fancy <laughs> but it's not much coverage and I don't really need anything fancy today like I said so let's just talk I feel like the last time I did get ready with me video was a couple weeks ago and I like to do one every couple weeks just so I can like you know I don't have friends okay that's the first of all as an adult it's hard to make friends and I don't feel like I need any. So I just feel like I need it if I say things out loud. It's helpful and I might as well do it with you guys, you know? Because I feel like it's just real life talk. I'm sad. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's weird to laugh when you say it. But, you know, i I'm just been sad. I've been busy, right? So last week was busy. We had a home inspection. I had a tattoo appointment. Cortland had a tattoo appointment. All that good jazz. All that passed by pretty well I think I haven't heard anything from the home inspection and it's the following week so it's almost been a week since they did it I haven't heard anything so I guess it's not that bad um even though I heard the people on the camera talking about why is there so much beetle juice everywhere oh we need to fix this I'm like what did you fix and they also said that because we called the office like hey do we need to lock the cats in our room like do you need to like um like see every room so we can't lock them up or because they said or secure them and stuff but they said, oh, they're just going to peek in and just see if the apartment was updated so they can make a list of which apartments are updated. I was like, okay, shouldn't you know by the rent prices you're charging us? Don't know. But they also thought we had a fireplace and when we got it, the keys, we didn't have a fireplace. So this place is not that organized. But they were like, oh, they're just going to peek in for a second and see if the place is updated. Like floors, you know, kitchen update. However, when I came back home, because I have a ring alarm on our door for security but I don't have cameras inside my apartment because what do I need to see myself doing stuff all the time but when I got home they had like opened the bedroom closet a bunch of our costumes like you know I have Halloween costumes and wigs and stuff at the top of our closet they were knocked over and I know the cats can't get up there and also our shower curtain for our bathroom that we don't use was pulled open and it's full of storage like we use one bathtub that's we shower and everything. And then the other one is just full of storage because, you know, we didn't have that many closets. We just filled it up with containers of storage. That shower curtain was pulled open. So, because they were like, oh, they're just going to pop in for a second. They're not going to open cabinets or anything. That was a lie. When we called the office, they certainly lied to us. Or these inspector people were just being super nosy. Because why were you in my shower and in my closet? Like, you clearly touched the thing at the top of my closet to make everything fall over because the cats can't get up there. Nor would they try. Like, they're very good cats. But the cats certainly didn't open our shower and look in there and stuff. It's so weird. It's so weird, you know? I just thought it was bizarro. But I guess it went well because I didn't hear anything from them. So that's good, I guess. Tattoo is healing up nicely. It's, you know, that flaky, peely stage right now. Portland loves his new tattoo, which is fantastic. You know, since we booked these so far in advance, I kind of forgot. Got I had the appointment for a little bit because we booked them back in November, but it was nice. It's very nice. Very happy with both of them. And then this weekend, like, so we had the weekend, right? The Valentine's Day weekend. We spent it looking at houses. So we got up really early Saturday and went to multiple places. Thankfully, they kind of made them in a row for us. We could just go from one to the next. And the first one was okay. The second one, I fell head over heels in love with this little 100-year-old cottage in great condition 
built in 1924, so it was 98 years old, almost 100 years old. And I was like, oh my god, this is ideal. It wasn't very big, but I don't need very big. I think it was 1,500 square feet. And I was like, oh my god, I love it. It's perfect. It's beautiful. There's French doors to every room. And it's definitely like an acquired style because it had like those little, those little flat shingles all over the entire house. But I love like the old windows that are like, you know, the old single pane windows. Like, yeah, sure, it's not great for insulation, but it looks beautiful. Like, just layers and layers of paint on things from over the years. And I just, I love the old style of things. The house had a fold down ironing board in the pantry, which was super odd, but it had like the old school charm that I love. And it was reasonably priced, right? So we put in an offer. It was only on the market for two days when we saw it. We put an offer in that night. And it will be closed for offers the next day. So it's going to be all up for three days total. Okay, sorry. There was something in my eye. And I like completely lost my contact. Had to fumble on the floor for it. And go put a new one in because I couldn't find it. So that's fun. And that's the second time this happened this week. And contacts are not cheap, you guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of you know that. It's horrible. They just keep getting something in my eye. And then the contact falls out. And I lose it. But as I was saying, so the house was on the market for a total of three days. It was, you know, three days from the total time they listed it to the time they closed offers. We were the fifth offer in. I know that seems not great in our odds. But I was in love. Okay, I was in love with the house. It was a beautiful little cottage. It was so cute. And it was in a good side, like a decent side of town. Like not a high end side of town by any means. But it had some like good shops and stuff nearby. So I was happy. <sighs> So we were like, okay, there's already a bunch of offers in, you know, it's not asking for too much. So we put an offer in for a lot more than they were asking, like a significant amount more than they were asking, you guys. Now, we don't have a lot of money, like we got pre for a loan and that wasn't within the budget still. So we said we're going to put this much money, you know, we're going to offer them this much, way more than they wanted. Just because we really like it, we think it's worth it and we're planning on living here for a really long time. Didn't get the house. Offer did not go through. Hate that for me. Like, I just wish I knew if they took a lower offer because they had cash or like, you know, something like that. I feel like there's a lot of people from north that move down here and, <laughs> and have cash to just buy a house before they see it. Because there's no way, like, you know, that many people saw it. Um, Because the real estate agent for the person who was doing it said that only two people had seen it. Um, we were the third one to see it. So there was offers in for people who didn't even see the house in person. But I'm so disappointed. I was having dreams like for like three nights because they had offers because they took them like two days to like pick an offer they were going to accept. So we're just sitting in limbo for a while just like mm, this is be like the dream house. Like we we made a really good offer. We should get the house. Did not. And it's weird because they put the house under contract too, so it's not, it wasn't even pending. They literally had contingencies in the person's offer they accepted over ours. So I'm wondering how much money they offered them or if it was cash. Like, I wish they would just tell me. Even if they don't want to tell me who it is, you know, because like privacy and shit. But sad. And here's the thing. I am probably going to go through this like eight more times. <laughs> you know? Like, there's just, it, the market's insane. Houses are marked up way more than they should be. Like, that's the highest the market's been in, like, ever, it feels like. Especially looking back at history of houses, like what they sold for a couple years ago versus what they're up for now. It's just a lot more. It's just a lot. And it makes me sad because, like, I can never, ever get my hopes up. Because I thought we made a really good offer on this place and then didn't get it. <laughs> you know, like... I'm just so sad about it, you guys. So so sad about it that I know like we spent the whole weekend looking at houses found one that I wanted the other one was like okay but and then the other two that we saw beforehand or after that one were just like no the other you know we saw four that day and we saw two the next day and that was the only one I liked you know we've been stalking and made a list of like things we like and stuff for a really long time for months now we've been looking um we just you know that was the only one that I <laughs> that I really liked so sad. And now someone else is gonna live in my house. I feel like that was supposed to be my house. I felt like it was meant to be. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's petty. It's stupid. But it's just what's going on with me right now. That I got that bad news this morning. And I just know since we're making like another list with the real estate agent to go see more, two more tomorrow, and then probably some more this weekend too. Like I know I'm just be doing this for months. Just 
oh, here's a really pretty one we could make nice. You know, like, this has potential. I like this layout. I like this side of town. Boom, swooped in 100 offers for us on day one, it feels like, you know. Like, I cannot be like these people and put offers on things that I haven't seen in person. I can't do that. I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not brave enough for that, you know. So, that's what my life's going to be like for the next couple months, I feel like. It's going to take us months to actually get an accepted offer, no matter how many times we go to see houses, no matter how many things we schedule for, all that. It's just going to take some time um and I thought the hard part would be like getting pre-approved for a loan you know finding a side of town you want to live on I feel like you know finding exactly what meets your needs I feel like that would have been the harder part it's not I know what I need I need a three bedroom 1500 square feet preferred you know a little bit of a yard for a shed that's all I need like I feel like I don't ask for much <laughs> you know even if it was a two bedroom we could talk about it <laughs> You know, we, we can talk about it. Just, you know, something decent that, you know, isn't going to fall apart on me. That's all I want. I'm okay with having, like, some work on it. You know, do some work on things. You know, I hate carpet. You know, changing it out for, like, vinyl floors afterwards or something. You know, that's all things that can be done in time. I'm not looking for a mansion. I'm not looking for <laughs> anything fancy. But it feels like everyone else feels the exact same way. But, like... Mm -hmm. I thought we made a good offer. <laughs> I'm so sad about it. I'm so sad about it. Like, ugh, I, just, I was dreaming about it for days. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of house hunting for the next couple months, it seems like. And even when we get an accepted offer, like, it doesn't mean it's going to go through. The inspection could pull up bad stuff, you know, all that. Who knows? And besides... You know, we're going to keep putting in offers, go to viewings, putting in offers, checking websites, all this stuff, back and forth, talking to the agent and all that. I have been trying to be a good YouTuber. I got my estimate for how much I'm getting paid this month. You know, January, February, March, April are usually like pff, terrible AdSense um, months. This is the least I've made in years for a month like this is the worst month of my life for the last several years so look my views are down I gotta pick up pick up my channel some I know a video like this isn't gonna help for views because only people who like already subscribe and everything are gonna see it it's not a very searchable thing I just gotta think of more things to be searchable for think about making non-beauty related content more often I thought about doing like a video on like reacting to a certain theme of TikToks, like reacting to spooky TikToks, reacting to tattoo TikToks, reacting to beauty TikToks, you know? I feel like those are fun. People like TikToks. Um, I feel like th that would be a fun video idea because TikTok's really in right now. Short form content that I could just do like a bunch of in one video. I feel like that's kind of a good thing because I like watching those Amazon favorite like TikTok compilation videos on YouTube and stuff. But I could react to those kind of things. Thought that would be fun. I also thought about just uh, doing videos on the products that I make for my shop. But I also thought it'd be a cool TikTok idea for like, you know, just something that's on the side because I don't want to like explain my entire process per every product I release in my shop. But my shop has been adding products, which is very nice, and it's been a lot of work. But I'm trying to get a house, trying to be a good wife, trying to raise a baby kitten. <laughs> Yes, Akasha. Talking about this one who cries constantly because she hears her mommy's voice. Trying to, you know, get a house. Be a good YouTuber. Be a good wife. Have a baby kitten. Raise a baby kitten. <laughs> Isn't that right, Akasha? Be a good YouTuber. Start a, Keep your small business going. Start adding more products to your small business. I feel like it's been a lot on my plate and I'm failing at all of it. <laughs> constantly. As far as the shop goes, though, um, I added a bunch of more products. So... We have like coasters, like rubber, flexible, reusable coasters. We also have koozies that I added, expanded onto. Today I worked on adding some sublimated earrings. So these are custom made earrings I'm having dyed on both sides by hand here um, in my apartment. Just small things that I can do here. Also made custom puzzles. Uh, picked out a really cute design, hand pressed them to get the dyed design onto the puzzles. They're really cute. I like how they came out. The witch's layer one that has like different layers of the like the layer and stuff. I thought was just a really cute idea for the puzzle itself. So we're working on expanding products past 
accessories, but I did add some more accessories like the little coffin gravestone earrings and skeleton pattern earrings and stuff that I did make each side by hand, which, you know, has a little bit more specialty things. You can't get them anywhere else. And I feel like it was a nice add-on to the shop. So I've been trying to expand products as well as um, focus on restocking things that are out of stock a lot, but it's a lot of work, you know, keep things in stock because I make things in very small batches. Like I made a bunch of earrings today. I made five pairs. That is usually a batch for me. I don't sell like a lot of stuff, so I don't make a ton of things in there. So if I get someone who buys four of something, I'm almost needing a restock again, which yes, you could always just make more in a batch, but they don't have products sitting around. And it might not sell, so I can't really do that, especially, like, because these products aren't, you know, free for me to make. I gotta pay for the stuff to make them. So, that's a good balance of, like, trying to keep things in stock as well as creating new products. I gotta find that balance still. So, it appears Akasha is just gonna cry. Okay? Okay. I'm so frustrated, I can't get her to stop crying. I got her this fancy feeder. Supposed to save me money, because houses are not cheap. You know, closing costs and everything. With the market as high as it is, you can't really get closing costs included in your stuff anymore, it feels like. So, trying to save money. However, I did go ahead and splurge and bought Akasha her own microchip feeder that opens when she walks up to it and closes when she walks away for her baby food. Because the other cats don't need to eat the kitten food and stuff. She's having a hard time doing that. We're trying to get her to gain weight. We took her to the vet this weekend in between house showings and stuff to get her vaccines as well as a checkup and you know weight and everything an opinion on her bad behavioral issues with peeing on us in the bed um they didn't really have any suggestions besides a little feel away uh, anxiety plug-in for the bedroom which we bought and she's jumping all over my makeup which we bought we haven't tested it out sleeping in the bed again yet but they're said as far as her weight because she's almost five months old and she's still like a six week old kitten size she's fine for her body ratio and weights they just think she's gonna be a very petite little girl like she's always gonna be just a really petite cat which is fine with us but she doesn't like to eat hard food as her new like adult teeth are coming in so she's been very whiny and we're trying to mix in high calorie dried freeze-dried food toppers and with her wet food to get her some good moisture and high calorie stuff since she won't eat you know the regular kitten food she's been a lot of work on top of trying to get a lot of other work done <laughs> also the palette i'm using today is just the shadow kiss one from alter ego you can use code porcelain to save money off it it's a dupe for natasha denona palette the glam palette but uh you know, I don't have Natasha Denona money, nor would I want to give her my money if I can get the same thing. Way cheaper, you know? So, yeah, that's what, what's going on in my life right now, you guys. It's a lot of just juggling, it feels like. Like, I thought taking, you know, like trying to take the weekends off, plan ahead for videos and stuff would, you know, oh, I have time for myself. Not so much. And even during the week when I feel like it's like 8 at night and I'm stopped working. Because I usually stop around 6 or 7 it feels like. I don't get to just relax. Cortland has doing schooling so he's at school. And I have a lot more time alone which I already do so it's very lonely. And I can't bother him so I end up working even later than usual. Just you know usually not so much on videos at night because lighting and such. And making noise around him working. It's either... Just doing some light editing, making thumbnails, or working on products for the shop and stuff. I feel like I'm juggling so much. And as a couple, we're not really getting much us time. It's either one of us or both of us are working on something. Or we're running errands, like taking the cat to the vet, <laughs> going to see house viewings. And I don't find either one of those things very fun <laughs> at all. So I feel like we need it, like more us time, but we're not going to get it anytime soon. You know, like I'm glad... Me and him are okay <laughs> between us. Like, if we had problems, it'd be a bad time for it. I'm glad we don't. Um, but it just it feels like a lot on the plate for both of us right now. And I'm hoping, like, we can get a house, move in, settle in. I can pick up, you know, um, either on the shop or the YouTube thing. One of those things will pick up for me. And I could, you know, do that in a new environment where I feel reset. Because I feel like I'm kind of stagnant right now. 
like I transformed our dining room into a new workstation for the shop and our big closet is full of my products. I, I feel like if we had a house and we had a third bedroom that was just for storage and work, it'd be a good separation of work and home life. I feel like that's something, especially during the panoramic, people have discovered is that you need a separation between where you live and where you work. Even if you live, if you work from home, it's good to have a designated area that is for one or the other. I feel like I don't have that right now just because of the small space we're in. But it's better than the last apartment, you know? For mascara, I'm going to use the Milani one. It is the highly rated anti-gravity mascara. It sounds fancy. The golden black packaging is kind of cute on it. It sounds fancy. It has kind of this, you know, weird wand shape that's kind of narrower in the middle. I will say for this like fancy like oh my god anti-gravity mascara to like lift your lashes it doesn't really do much for me like it's fine I just feel like when I do it my lashes look black but thin I don't feel like they're thickening enough with this mascara that's my issue with it it works fine especially for the price tag but I feel like I've had essence mascaras that give me a little more volume but it does something you know, I didn't want this video to be complaining. I really didn't. But they always end up being complaining. I just think I just get things off my chest in these videos, you know? Like, I'm, I'm actually, like, a decently okay person. Like, I've been very sad, <laughs> you know? Um, just a lot of disappointments, it seems like. Um, but other than just being sad, I've been trying not to fester in it. Because there are good things to look forward to, too. Like, there's, you know, there's there's still things on the horizon that could go really well for us. And me in particular. Cortland's cool, calm, and collected all the time. He's fine with whatever. I'm just more of an anxiety ball and very sad. Like, I don't enjoy the house hunt. I don't enjoy it whatsoever. And I don't enjoy moving. I just, I'm okay with the packing part. The packing and unpacking part, I can do just fine. The moving in itself, the help finding someplace is just not... I thought it'd be fun at first. It's not. Because I find, like, even if I, I go see stuff that I like, I'm like, it's going to go to some other person who didn't even see it. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking right now. Okay. Okay. Sorry about the complaining. I'm going to put some lashes on and lipstick. I'll talk to you in a second when I look a little bit more put together. Okay. So I threw on some Saucy Batty B lashes and the Plate Cool Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick, which I used to wear all the time and I haven't worn in a while because it's kind of getting that, like, chunky dried out phase but still not completely like the most matte lipstick in the world it's a very weird texture after it's old but i didn't feel like throwing it out because it's a nice color and you know <laughs> anyways here we are so um overall i just wanted to say that like sorry for complaining i feel like i have a lot on my plate i know it's all voluntary stuff that i put on my plate you know like i didn't need a kitten i don't need a house technically um you know, I don't have to do a small business. I don't, you know, have to be a YouTuber. I could go to get a different job. But medically, I think you being a YouTuber is the best thing for me. And also, like, I, I, I want these things. You know, like, these are good things. I have things to look forward to. It's just making them work out. That is the harder part, you know. I also feel like I need to improve my shop uh, marketing. I'm not very good at marketing, you know. I don't know how to do all that stuff. I'm going to, like, look up some tips and stuff when I have... Maybe a, a second of free time to do so. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Sorry, it was a lot of me just blah, 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 about life. Also, I found my contact that fell out of my eye. I found my contact. It was on this little paper towel thing that I used to wipe my brush off. So that's fun. Wasted a new contact for nothing if I had found that sooner. Now it's all dried out and useless. But, you know, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please me like appreciate leave a comment just leave like a hello comment if you want to that helps my engagement <laughs> i'll see you in the next video guys bye have a great day